All right, loves, listen up. So we're talking once again about the show that had us all glued to the screen. Fascinated by the fast paced lives of these young dancers and their stage moms clashing with the legendary Abby Lee Miller, Dance Moms, by this mom's Maddie Ziegler. As you might have already guessed, her tale is nothing to smile about. You'll literally wonder why this series of total chaos ran on the screen for an entire eight seasons. As a matter of fact, forget what you thought you knew about the show, because Maddie's candid podcast revelation will leave you speechless. From the dazzling performance to the tears behind the curtain, she's bravely breaking her silence, sharing how Dance Moms tore her world apart. Guys, the impact was so devastating that she's even blocked the memories of her time on the show. From the get-go, Maddie revealed that her mom propped her into dancing when she was only two. Like, y'all, she literally doesn't remember any time in her childhood when she wasn't dancing. Let's start with the beginning. 18 years of your life, you've been dancing. Yeah. That's insane. How old are you? I'm 20. So you started dancing at two. Yeah. From the tender age of four, Maddie was already dancing competitively. Around the age of seven, she was spotted and soon became a part of Dance Moms. But little did she realize that this moment would mark a significant turning point in her life. The first and most shocking revelation Maddie made about Dance Moms was the fact that they would be coached on what to say or do when the cameras rolled. When I was doing the show in the first season, I mean, I was seven, there was male producers saying like, this is what you have to say. My mom wasn't in the room so I was like okay I just have to do whatever I'm being told and so I would literally just they would say say you're the best say you're better than everyone else say blah 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 and so I was perceived kind of like a little brat in the first season and I I remember we watched the first episode at like a viewing party for like the launch of the show and I just cried because I was like oh my gosh everyone thinks I'm this bitch like and I'm not I'm seven like it was so weird so the producers of this show were mad. Who tells a kid to put her through all of this? To which she responded that her mom actually apologized to her. Last year, my mom, I, I was having a really bad panic attack and I called my mom and I was just, things were coming up from the past and she apologized to me and she was like, I'm so sorry that I put you through that. And it's so sad because it's like, she would never want to hurt us. Of course. But she, n- none of us knew how crazy it would get. Well, at this point, I know y'all are wondering why didn't Melissa, Maddie's mother, or any of the other moms pull their daughter off of the show? Here's what Maddie had to say about that. And she really like did everything to try and break our contract and pull us out and eventually did. Wow. With the help of Sia, she helped us a lot too. Maddie's mom signed for them to be on the season for so long. Like she literally gave Dance Moms permission to use her two kids for as long as the show ran and y'all know what that means. She was paid a lot of money. And when contracts run for years like that, terminating them is always very difficult. Loves, I hope you all remember that Maddie's mother also put her other daughter, Mackenzie, on this show and they did a whole six seasons. So yeah, that was a lot of pressure on one family. And as much as Maddie's mom has expressed regret for what she did to her daughters, some people still insist that she let the greed get in the way when she saw the fat checks. It's sad to me that Maddie said, we let these people do this to us. No, your mothers let it happen. Maybe they didn't know any better, but even I knew it was bad when I was a teen watching the show. Nobody will admit they were blinded by fame, money, and success. I love how all the blame is put on Abby and the producers, but the parents are innocent. No way. Those moms are just as to be blamed for allowing their kids to take part in this crap. That is good to hear Maddie's mom apologized. Why are we not blaming the moms? If the moms pulled them out of this situation, situation, none of this would have happened. I always say go to the root of the problem and the moms are the root reason for all of these problems. Furthermore, she openly discussed the ongoing struggles she faced as a perfectionist because during her time on Dance Moms, the intense spirit of competition was deeply ingrained in them, making winning the only thing that truly mattered. Unfortunately, this created an incredibly toxic environment for the girls. The most challenging part for her to date is that she still feels the weight of this pressure. Constantly, she has to unlearn many things like not taking things too seriously or being excessively competitive because it's not the end of life. My thought process when I was younger, also through my dance teacher, was like, you have to be the best. If you don't win, you're not good. I was such a perfectionist and I was so hard on myself and now I'm trying to unlearn all those traits. It's an ongoing battle because I'm like, I liked some of the traits that I had when I was little because I was so determined and I was like so strong, like headed about everything. But now I'm also like, hey, if I mess up like right it's not the end of the world i'm gonna continue 
That is a heavy load for a kid who is barely in 10th grade. It is like putting a tiny superhero cape on a kitten and expecting it to save the world. I mean, come on, she's a dance genius, not a dance commander. The only thing she should be leading at that age is a group of teddy bears for a dance party. On the brighter side, she credited therapy for helping her heal, revealing that her mom got her into it when she was 12 and she has been hooked since then. She still has moments where she relives her experience on Dance Moms, but she is coping well. And I still have moments of that at times and I'm like, okay, just try and like shake it off because it's did, just... Do you think it's... Do you go to therapy? Like, I how do. Did you, okay. I'm like very actively in therapy. I am too. I love therapy. I it changed love my therapy. Life. It changed my life. As if all these weren't enough, Maddie's story became more complicated after leaving the show. In the podcast, Maddie did say that Sia came through a lot to have their contracts terminated. And she really like did everything to try and break our contract and pull us out and eventually did. Wow. With the help of Sia, she helped us a lot too. But it was like, it was hard because she, they basically had you bound in contract. totally oh totally because we signed on for so for so long right. however the Sia and Maddie relationship is just as problematic as her time on Dance Moms I say this because of the numerous times their relationship has been highlighted and it just never sits right with a lot of people for starters do y'all remember when Sia passionately talked about seeing Maddie for the first time and suddenly felt uncontrollable love like that of a mother meeting their child for the first time and she literally went ahead to add that she shares Maddie with her mom her her mom shares her with me. It's weird. It's the, the, the day I met her, I saw she danced the dance and I cried and I thought and I felt like what pe when people say that they give birth to their first child and they never knew they could love someone so much and they experience this kind of like opening of their eyes that they never thought they could love someone so much, so profoundly. And that was what happened to me the day that I saw her do the chandelier dance in her little black leotard for the first time um, in rehearsal and I just was like so blown away by her. Ew. And Maddie's mom was okay with someone describing her daughter that way? And then there's the time that she said she loves Maddie so much that she can't do any project without Maddie. Because I can't do a project without her. I don't want to. I wouldn't make art if it didn't include her. Guys, there's more. She has gone as far as getting Maddie security, so she's literally under 24-7 surveillance, not to mention how she canceled all of Maddie's other projects and starred her in a very problematic movie, even though Maddie was uncomfortable. How did you convince her that this casting was a good thing? Well, uh, she cried on the first day of rehearsals and she was really scared and she just said, I don't want anyone to think that I'm making fun of them. While many people may find their relationship rather too comfortable for their liking, Melissa, Maddie's mom, is pretty much okay with all of this. She even said, Sia and Maddie snuggle. Guys, it gets worse. Sia would organize sleepovers with Maddie even when she was as young as 12. 12, and Melissa revealed that they would share a bed. Listen, loves, I can go on and on about this weird relationship, but that's a story for another day. All of these were just to highlight to you that Maddie might have jumped from the frying pan to the fire, and her mother failed to protect her yet again. Here is what some think about this situation. Something about Sia is just off-putting. She was obsessed with Maddie. Sia helped Maddie get off Dance Moms just to exploit Maddie herself. It's very strange. Sia did groom the kid as well, though. She only got her her out so she could have power over her. It's really weird stuff she would do, including making Maddie sleep in bed with her and made Maddie be in her movie that Maddie cried through because she didn't want to make the movie. Maddie's mom looked like she would sell her daughter's soul for a price. A grown woman snuggling with a minor and nothing was said? Wow. That shocked me. Predators can be male or female. So you see, as much as Sia managed to terminate Maddie's contract at Dance Moms, their relationship exceeds what meets the eye. We keep getting more insight into the unfortunate things these girls had to go through during their time at Dance Moms and how it has affected them to date. Maddie isn't the first one to talk about blocking out parts of her childhood just to relieve herself of the trauma. In the podcast, she even said she could never rewatch the show. Maybe clips of her dancing just to appreciate how much she has Evolved. It's so sad that both Chloe and Maddie that I've heard might be more of them say that they don't remember the parts of their childhood. And I think that really speaks for itself. Also loves, what is your take on these kid reality shows? As I was reading through people's reactions to this story, I was bumped into another side of this that is rarely talked about, which is the impact such problematic shows have on viewers. Take a look at this comment. The show itself traumatized me as a kid. I was going through abuse as a kid and the show taught me that abuse is sort of normal 
normal and it's tough love, which it is not at all. This is so bad and we can't rule out the fact that it could be the reality of many kids who watched the show. Maybe some even became rude because they saw kids on Dance Moms being rude, which was perceived as cool. Thanks for watching loves. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Also, if you missed the story of how Sia manipulated Maddie, click here to watch the video.